Hi Marvelites, I'm Gorilla Man of Marvelite HQ, here to talk about Peter Parker's web shooters. After having a radioactive spider bite him, inject its irradiated venom into his bloodstream, and give him its powers in the instant of its own death, Peter Benjamin Parker realized that he had, in effect, become a human spider, a Spider-Man. But he decided that a Spider-Man was nothing without a web, so he invented the wristworm devices he calls his web shooters. Spider-Man's web shooters are twin devices worn on his wrists beneath the gauntlets of his costume that can shoot thin strands of a special web fluid at high pressure. At first, they were meant to be tools of the professional stuntman's trade Parker had initially hoped to pursue. They had instead become his signature weapons as a crusading adventurer after he came to believe that he could have prevented the, the murder of his uncle, Benjamin Parker. The spinneret mechanisms in each web shooter are machined from stainless steel except for the turbine component, which is machined out of a block of Teflon, and the two turbine bearings which are made of amber and artificial sapphire. The hand-wound solenoid needle valve on each web shooter is actuated by a palm switch. This, in its turn, is protected by a band of spring steel which requires a 65 pound pressure to trigger it. The switch is situated high on the palm to avoid most unwanted firing. An additional safety measure to prevent misfires while Spider-Man is making a fist or carrying other things is that the trigger has to receive a double tap from Spider-Man's middle and third fingers. The effect of the very small turbine pump veins is to compress the web fluid and then force it under pressure through the spinneret holes which cold draws it, then extrudes it through the air where it solidifies as the web fluid exits the spinneret holes. It is attracted to itself electrostatically and thus can form complex shapes. The spinneret holes have three sets of adjustable staggered openings around the turbine which permit a single and incredibly strong line and a more complex spreading spray and a thick tremendously adhesive liquid. Spider-Man can web himself a shield, a parachute, a safety net, a barrier, skis, a raft, a club, a ball, or sticky glue. By weaving his webs into discs beneath his feet, he can walk on water, glue, or fire, given enough time. On contact with the air, the long chain polymer knits and forms an extremely tough, flexible fiber with extraordinary adhesive properties. The web fluid's adhesive quality diminishes rapidly with exposure to air. After approximately one hour, certain embedded esters cause the solid form of the web to dissolve into a powder. Spider-Man wears web fluid cartridges on his belt beneath his costume's tunic. When Parker was transformed and given organic web shooters, Peter modified his mechanical web shooters into bracelets for Mary Jane Watson to wear. How sweet. Ben Riley donned modifications of them that he wore outside the wrists of the costume's gauntlets and allowed him to fire other web-like projectiles, while Spider-Girl wears her own variations of the web shooters. One of the few modifications Spider-Man has made to the web shooters was a red LED light that will blink and let him know when he's about to run out of web fluid. Another upgrade is a very small launcher on the back of the hand, which allows him to fire off his spider traces. There have been several types of webbing over the years, ice webbing, acid webbing, taser webbing, impact webbing, magnetic webbing, lead lined webbing, flame webbing, sonic disruptors, expanding web foam, micro coiled Z metal, and quick drying web cement. If you want to know more about each of those types of webbing, there's a link in the description. That was all about Spider-Man's web shooters. There was quite a bit of information there. So make sure to like and share and subscribe if you want more of me or one of the other members of Marvelite HQ. Gorilla Man in. See, you thought I was going to say out, but I said in.